welcome to this list designer tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to integrate pop-ups in your list designer user interface. Our pop-ups are special because they are not some sort of standardized menu. No, with a list designer, you can customize your pop-ups completely free and create a functional layout and design just the way you like it best. Okay, then let's dive right into the subject. What you see in the WIS Designer desktop application is an iPad remote based on a floor plan, which I have already prepared for you. For the beginning, here are some general information about working with pop-ups. Pop-ups are handled similar to uh, normal remote pages. In a nutshell, you can say that they are something like small remote pages with some extra functions. As an example, I want to create a pop-up to control the blinds because in the floor plan view, you just see the states of the blinds. That means to control the blinds, you have to click on the blind icon and then the pop-up with the controls of this blind shall open. Okay, let's do it. To create a pop-up, click on the plus icon above the page list and select pop-up. Now a menu opens where you can define name and size. And if you want to duplicate an existing pop-up or create a new one. For this demo, I want to create a new one. So this is the menu. And just create a new one with the name right. and the size 400 by 400 pixels. Finally, click create to save the pop-up. Now you can see on the left side, there's a new pop-up in the pop-up list. To modify the properties of this pop-up page, like for example, background color or background image, click in the background, just for a normal remote page. And the properties on the right side are nearly similar to remote pages. I will select a background image. One of the list, this one, canvas 10, apply. Okay, that's it. Check the scale boxes. Okay, so much for the background. Now you can start to add and position single elements or widgets on the pop-up page to design the layout of the pop-up, just the same way as for normal remote pages. I will just select a widget for the blind. So this one, but not in the red style, but in the white thin style. Okay, yes, this one, insert the widget, and now you have the widget on the remote page. Now you can scale it just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so these are the controls for the blind. Now you can add a text field to display the name. My name just as a variable. And I add another button element to assign the close pop-up command to it. So I uh, delete the background of the uh, button. I just want to have a icon, but not the bulb, but a white thin icon. Okay, just 
Let's see if Vera changed the um, background pattern to dark and go to the general folder, general, and take the X icon on this. And assign as an action a close pop. -up. Well, so much for the things that are not new. At this point, it's time to explain what makes pop ups special. Pop ups are designed to allow users to use one single pop up for several different devices. Therefore, the devices must provide similar functions. What does that mean? Okay, I want to give you an example. If you have several similar thermostats or blinds in various rooms, it is not necessary to duplicate the pop-up for each thermostat or blind. You just have to create one pop-up for all the blinds or thermostats. How does this work? To make this possible, we've implemented a special function. You can define for the opening button of the pop-up which device shall be controlled by the open pop-up. In addition, it is necessary to select a specific option for each element on the pop-up, which shall be replaced by the device defined by the opening button. Okay, sounds a bit complicated, but it's not so complicated. It's rather simple. Let me demonstrate it. Just open an element which is placed on the pop-up. For example, a button or slider here in the widget. You can see there are some check boxes under action and status, which says replace device. This checkbox makes the difference to use the pop-up for different devices. If you check the box, this command or state will be replaced by the identical command or state of the device defined via opening button. You have to check the boxes of all elements on the pop-up you want to be replaced. If the box is not checked, the assigned device will remain unchanged. So I can do it now and check the box. So this command and status will be replaced as well as this one and this one. The replace option is also available for text elements. What do you need that for? This is useful for the headlines to show the name of the replacing device, which will be controlled with this open pop-up. If you check the option pop-up name as text, like this, the name of the replacing de device, which is assigned to the opening button, will be displayed in the text field. Okay. On the pop-up side, that's all you have to do. Now we can turn to the opening button and all its setting options. To create an opening button, just drag a button element to a remote page and click on Assign Action in the properties on the right. I will do it here for the button element of the blind. Click on Assign Action, select open pop-up, then select the pop-up you want to open, this one, and then you can select a device for the opening button, the replacing device. So all the commands with the replacing option checked will be replaced by this device. So select the device, and now the identical commands of the device library or the all will be replaced uh, in the opening pop-up. Okay, so much for the topic using the same pop-up for different devices. The next subject is appearance and setting options, which you have also to define via opening button. This means 
you can define different appearance options for the same pop-up. Just click on settings. And now you have different options. Just let me explain them one by one. In the tab position, you can define the general position of the pop-up relative to the page parent pop-up or the opening button. Here, so I will relative to the opening button and right of the button. Yes, tab background. Here you can define the color and the opacity for the background. So 80%, for example. Then the tab animation. Here you can define the animation for opening and closing. Select fade in. A bit slower and fade out. And then the tab style. Here you can define the border, for example, one pixel, the color of the border, light gray, the border radius, 10 pixels, and some other things like the shadow, for example, here. And for advanced users, they can use CSS and you can save this as a template. Like now, save it as the template with the name blind. Okay, now I apply all these settings to the pop-up. Now we have assigned the opening of the pop-up to this button. Let us check it. In the preview, just click on the button, and now the pop-up opens and close it. The fact that the definition of the setting options is also bound to the opening button allows to have a different appearance for each opened pop-up. Okay, I will show you an example. Therefore, I assign the same pop-up, the blind pop-up here, to the to another blind button, the right blind of the library. Select the button, assign the action, open pop-up, blind, open the settings. Now you can load the template and now all the settings should be identical to the other pop-up. Now I will change a little bit. Maybe I can change the animation, move in from left and left. The style I will just to show you the difference, select the blue border, apply. Now go to the preview and check the appearance, left blind, you know it already, and the right blind, blue border, and it's coming in from left and leaving to left. Well, this is a very simple example. Finally, I would like to show you another possibility how you can use pop-ups effectively in a floor plan remote. What I want to do is, if you click on a room in the floor plan, a pop-up with all device control of this room shall open. Well, in order to shorten the whole thing a bit, I have already created a room pop-up for this purpose. The dining room pop-up, this one. So, here you can see a pop-up, 900 by 650 pixels, and uh, heater controls on it, two blind controls, and a light control. All the devices of the dining room. 
here, you can see it. To create an opening button, which is invisible, I have imported a transparent PNG and used this image as button icon for a button element. This is the button element with a transparent PNG. Look here, this is the imported image, which is completely transparent. Then, you have, then I have assigned the open pop-up command for the dining room pop-up and did all the settings already. Now we can open the preview to see how this works. Just click on the room and the room pop-up will appear. You can control your devices and close it again. As you've seen, pop-ups are extremely flexible and a powerful tool to create a customized look and feel for your remote. All right, that's it for now with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun using our amazing Wiz designer. Bye-bye.